Are you trying to concentrate more on your DJing or gaming in your live stream than worrying about your camera angles? Then look no further. Here's your video. What's up guys, it's your boy Avionics back with another tutorial video. In this one, I'm gonna show you guys how to have your scene switch automatically from one to the other in OBS Studio. This is good for you if you're a live streaming DJ and you have more than one camera angle and you wanna focus on your DJing rather than your camera work, for example. Or if you're a live streaming gamer and wanna switch camera angles from your face down to your hands, for example, like if you're holding a controller. Before we dive into this tutorial, be sure to have all your scenes set exactly the way you want it. All I'm demonstrating in this video is how to set up the switching between two to three scenes, which should be done after complete scene configuration. As I mentioned, I'm using OBS Studio and this video is for Mac users. So what you will need to do is download the Advanced Scene Switcher plugin and the link for that is down in the description. So from here, we're gonna go over to the right and hit the go to download white button. Let it download, already got it downloaded. So go ahead and open up your finder, your downloads, wherever it downloaded to, and you're gonna have the scene switcher.zip file. I've already unzipped it, and then you're gonna have the scene switcher folder. Go ahead and double click into that, double click into that. Now you have your Linux folder, your Mac OS folder, and then your Windows, and then your README. So with the README file, we're gonna take a look at the Mac OS section and it basically tells you that to right click the OBS app inside your applications folder and choose the show package contents. For OBS versions 24 or newer, you're gonna copy the advanced-scene-switcher.so uh, file to contents plugins folder. And for OBS versions older than OBS 24, you're gonna copy the advanced-scene-switcher-old.so file to contents, resources, and OBS-plugins folder. Now I have version 25 of um, OBS, so I'm gonna close this, put this folder to the side, double click the Mac OS folder, and here you have the advanced-scene-switcher-old.so, and then I've already dragged the file already in there, but you'll see two files in here, the one with old and the one that does not have the word old in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new finder, window of applications, go to OBS, double click on that, or I mean right click, I'm sorry, show package contents, double click contents, double click plugins, and as you can see, I already have the file dragged in here, advanced, dash scene dash switcher dot so so go ahead and close all this and then open up obs studio so for all intents and purposes we're going to be switching between scene one scene two and scene three okay so now we can go to tools up here click on advanced scene switcher not automatic scene switcher we want advanced scene switcher and here we're going to go over to the scene sequence tab and starting off fresh we're going to set up our scenes to go from scene one to scene two scene two to scene three and scene three back to scene one so we're going to create our first rule so click on the when drop down menu and we're going to choose scene one when scene one is active switch to we're going to click and select scene two after three seconds normally you want like maybe 60 seconds or 30 um, it all depends on what you want but for all intents and purposes for this tutorial we're going to do three seconds so type in three and you can either choose a cut transition or a fade we'll do the fade and so we're going to go ahead and hit the plus sign okay our next rule is when scene two is active, switch to scene three after three seconds using same fade. And as you can see here, it's already switching. So we're gonna hit click the plus sign to add that rule. And now we wanna start the cycle over again. So when scene three is active, switch to scene one after however many seconds, three seconds using the fade. Go ahead and click the plus sign to add it. 
I suggest you save this scene sequence profile. So click on save round trips to file and um, just give it a name and make sure you put it in a place where you can find it, such as documents and then click save. And then you can go ahead and load that saved scene sequence profile. If you have um, a few several different profiles where like say you have a gaming sequence, uh, a gaming live stream and a DJ live stream and you don't want the same uh, scene sequence from the gaming stream in the, in the DJ stream. So you can save and load that. All right, so now it's already started as you can see. So we'll go back to general. Here you can stop and start the whole scene switching. Now see it's uh, it stopped switching because we have three seconds in between. We're gonna go ahead and click start again. And there you have it, it's switching between scenes one, two, and three after three seconds. And then to stop it, just like I said, go back to tools, advanced scene switcher, and then click stop. And there you have it guys. Now your scenes are all set to switch automatically between one another. If my tutorial video helped you, please hit that like button. Leave any comments or questions down below and I will get to them ASAP. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell so you can be notified of future videos. Alright guys, Avionics out.